Hey, Roland, um, look, you've scraped up all your wheels like most of the people in Texas have. I'm going to guess this probably uh, took place maybe at a fast food drive through something like that? Yes. Or, or parallel parking or whatever. Yes. The not, Wendy's. Not, Wendy's. Wendy's. <laughs> not, <laughs> the Wendy's. Wendy's in the morning. The first thing for the drive through Not a problem. <laughs> hey, uh, Roland, did you look into what it would cost to get these wheels fixed? Uh, <laughs> I did. Okay. I'm guessing you chose not to get That's them fixed. That's correct. Okay. I'm with the scratches. Well, Roland, it's fine with you living with the scratches, but the next owner can't, okay? Nor can we. Um, those wheels are going to be about 100 to 150 bucks a piece to fix. Now, you may have coverage, Roland, that will fix these wheels for you at no cost to you, making your car worth significantly more. Did you happen to purchase a cosmetic wheel repair policy? It's been a while, Steve. I don't, I don't, I don't recall. Okay. I don't think I did. Um, uh, most people don't. All right. We'll look at your paperwork. Do you have the paperwork for the previous purchase, I by do. the way? It's okay. In the box. We'll look at that before um, we get done here, and I, I, I do that for two reasons. Number one, I will look for coverages that you have in place that would increase the value of your trade. And number two, I will look for coverage that you have in place that, based on the laws in the state of Texas, that you would be due a refund for any used term or miles, okay? Um, something certainly consider, to consider with your next vehicle, because even though you didn't pay to have those wheels fixed, you will pay for those wheels, okay? Because the condition of your vehicle matters. Now, you've got dings and dents like everybody else in the state of Texas as well. It's evidence you parked your car somewhere, probably next to someone rude. Did you look into what it co would cost to get the dings and dents fixed? No, I haven't. Okay, 50 to 60 bucks for some of the smaller ones, uh, about 150 for some of the bigger ones. Again, if you had purchased a paintless dent repair policy, all those dings and dents would be fixed for you, no cost, raising the value of your trade-in. Um, star on the windshield, uh, same thing. It's, that's only about a hundred bucks, but if you had coverage, your vehicle would be worth more. Now, how many key fobs do you have? Uh, I only have one. I was given one when I bought it. Okay. Um, that's too bad. You're buying a new car here. You will get two key fobs. And the reason I ask is uh, key fobs are, um, well, they have chips in them. And they require programming. So that makes it, by definition, it makes it a computer. They're three, four, five hundred sometimes dollars to, in fact, this, uh, your vehicle, it's got remote start, correct? It does. It's going to be up, uh, up towards the upper end to replace that key fob, okay? Um, again, we'll make sure you get two when you buy a new vehicle here, but for, for now, recognize the key replacement might be a smart thing to do, too. Now, um, tell me, how do, you, how do you use your car? Uh, just my daily driver, just to work and... Road trips every every other weekend, possibly. Okay, and I see your your back seats are covered, and they're also covered with white dog hair. I'm guessing you've got a puppy of some type. I just, do. Just say yes, okay? What's your puppy's name? Uh, Bo and Maggie. Okay, very good. What kind of dogs are they? One's a half, uh, half uh, one's a full-blooded lab, and one's half English pointer lab. Ah, oh, very cool. In the back here, I see you've got not just golf clubs, but golf training aids, golf gloves, golf balls, golf golf outfits, disc golf, golf hats. This golf bag, I love this golf. Okay, well, very good. So I'm guessing you use the car to transport your dogs to dog parks and such? Sure. Okay, obviously you go to the golf course. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what on this vehicle, what options or accessories do you have that you don't use that you wouldn't want to pay for on your next vehicle. Tell me, rear entertainment and navigation. Uh, rear entertainment and navigation. Um, you don't use the rear entertainment at all? No. Okay. It's plastic on the screens. Uh, okay. The dogs uh, don't watch TV. Dogs don't watch much TV, all right. And uh, navigation, I'm guessing you use your phone for that. Mm, correct. It's okay. Android Auto. Okay, um, now let me ask you this. If we found a vehicle that had navigation and it was the right vehicle, that wouldn't be a deal breaker, would it? Um, not necessarily. No, I really don't want to pay for the rear DVD more than anything. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that happens. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, where would you put your vehicle? 10 being brand new, uh, 1 being ready for the junkyard. Uh, probably about a seven, maybe an eight. Okay. What would it take to move it to a nine? The few dings and dents I have on it, fixing the wheels, getting an extra fob. Okay. Um, maybe just kind of going through it, servicing it, making sure everything's right. 
Okay, maybe a detail as well? Full detail, of course. Okay, very good. Um, I tell you what, uh, next payment, when's it due? Um, I just made it, so 30 days. Okay, and how much will that payment, uh, well, the next time, how much was the payment? It's 641. Okay. Um, if you're paying 641 right now, I'm going to guess if you're like most of my customers, you're looking at going to somewhere between 841 to 900. Um, I'm trying to stay. I mean, I can go up a little bit. I'm just not trying to stay that much. I put a big chunk of money down when I bought it. Okay, and good. I it for four years, so good, good. Short-term financing smart saves you a lot of money, and I'm going to guess. I'm guessing that uh, how many more payments do you have left? Just a ballpark. I've, uh, I've, uh, I've had it a little over a year. Okay, so you get about 36 payments or maybe 35, 34, 35. Nice. All right, and you put a big chunk of cash down last time. You'll uh, be doing that next time as well or this time? Um, I'm hoping not to. I'm just hoping to use the equity that I have built in the trade. Okay. Well, we'll hope uh, the same thing, but if not, cash wouldn't be a problem, I'm assuming. Yes, I uh, really don't want to, but I mean, if I have to, I'm sure I can put a little bit down. Okay. Good. What on the pilot that you have, options and accessory wise or, or standard feature wise, do you use that you must have on your next vehicle? Well, I, one thing I don't have on my vehicle now that I want on my next vehicle, I want a third row. Okay. And not put, put people back there, but to have the cargo space for my dogs. Okay, good. Good. That makes good sense. Um, anything else? You know, uh, I do prefer an all-wheel drive vehicle. Okay. Which is just, a just out of curiosity, why well, you know it's your your car is gorgeous. Okay. I mean, it's got minor cosmetic things, but uh, the car is gorgeous. Why are you getting rid of it? I just want something a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, you know, it's just a five passenger, um, but mainly mainly for my dogs. So my we'd babies. be we, we'd be looking at something in the Tahoe range. Yeah, Tahoe or a suburban. Okay. You know, that's all I've driven until I bought this vehicle, and I've had it for a little over a year, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun to drive, but uh, I just, I, I feel myself going back to a Tahoe or Suburban. That's all I've driven in the last 15 years until the last year. Okay. Now, I'm going to guess this uh, This Honda is right around $50,000 brand new, correct? Uh, 47 Okay. Um, so, we're going to go up just a little bit in price. So, uh, again, I think it, it's, it's, it's important to know that... I hope you've got equity, okay? We'll find that out later. Um, According to Kelly, I have about $11,000. Okay, and bless their hearts. Um, they give you some information. It's not always correct, but, but again, look, we don't determine the value of a trade in here, okay? The market does. Now, obviously, um, our experts here will take a look at it. They will take all the data at their disposal, and they will combine that with the condition of the vehicle, and they'll come up with a, they'll go, a good number. Most of the people that come here trade their vehicles in. If they weren't trading them into us, we wouldn't be giving them great prices, okay? So we'll take care of that for you. Uh, anything else with your new vehicle that's going to be important to you? No. No, that's about it. All right, great.